This is a video entitled, I only have 8% battery power. Hi, Emilio. Look at this. Ooh. An Osage Orange. Osage. Osage, can we see? Uh, gull wing bow. Relatively short, I've been working on. Let's see here. Let's torture it a little bit. Ah. I can get it back to 18 inches. That's pretty severe bend in this little doodad. There's 18. Ah. But I still need to reduce it quite a bit. You can see you can get pretty good bend in Osage. Sinew back. Ah. I shall impress you with my mighty draw. I don't know what it is now. A lot. Urgh. Too much for an old man. Anyway, working along here. One of three projects I have today. I think the battery still might be going. Put that down there. Oh man. These are not for short people. Some idea. It still has reflex. It looks like I've been torturing this thing, but it still has like three, four inches of reflex at least. So I am going to set this down and go on to number two project. I've got three on the drawing board today. Uh, hey Nick, working on your white, no, American Elm. Amer I need to use the same tellering string. American Elm flat bow. Hello, Senor Growling Bear. Um, working on your surprise too. This bow and Senor Growling Bears is somewhat related. It's gonna, this is going to be given to Emilio because he's waited so long and put down a deposit on another bow who DDT died during tillering just like um, GB's did. I passed along a white ash sinew back bow, died during tillering. It happens to the best of us. Um, he showed me a picture. By the way, save that sinew, yank it off that bow, soak it. Um, after it's soaked in cool water for a few hours, you can hit it with warm water, almost making it hot to loosen up the hide glue. Then you can separate it into fibers. 8% battery power, so I'm talking fast. Um, ring those out, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a freezer. They'll be good until you need them. Um, anyway, I'm going to make a version. Stop listening, growling bear. Stop listening. Okay. It's going to be like the frog bow here, except I'm also going to put in recurve just flat bow just these are great little bow some rawhide so he can rawhide back it and i better go before my battery dies i want to be in control of my ending and not just let it happen yeah control for you here um have a great day made good progress on this it's probably in the 70 80 pound range at 18 inches i'm going to work it down now that I've got that bend in it, I just need to reduce it evenly on each limb to get it down into uh, the range that Amelia wanted. Have a good one. Great talking to you as always. Band-Aid. And by the way, I could have solved that issue right off the bat by just taking some 220 grit and sanding the sinew on those arrows. It was probably just one offending arrow with like a, a bump of a sinew end or something. Should have knocked it out, but I didn't. Okay, see if I could finish this. Yay!